So in this form, I'm going to come in and I'm going to score along the edge to make that darted cup. Scoring right along the edges. Using my slip. I'm going to adhere both ends together. And again, you don't see a lot of my mark making. I am not leaving any fingerprints here through this process. Using my smooth rib, I'm kind of sealing off on the outside, turning it sideways into the interior of the shape and then from here I need to figure out how I'm going to create the darted foot. How am I going to dart this foot? So we want to come in with an exacto knife to create our dart. So the seam is definitely going to be part of the cup. So keep that in mind as you figure out where you're going to put your dart in the piece. So in this case, I'm just going to come in and create my first triangular dart, just like in fabric. So you can see I've cut out that triangle. I'm now going to turn the form a around and create the same dart on the opposite side. So using my original triangle as a template, I'm going to place it and cut. And then I turn sideways. Again, take the template from the original Start. Come in on the other side and do the same thing again. There we go. So we have all the dart sections. Now we want to come in and to cut a velvet, like a beveled edge on one side, on the inside. So you can see that. So I'm going to do one on the exterior and one on the interior. And doing that continually on each one. A beveled edge on the exterior one and then one on the interior of each side. And this will make it easier for them to come together as a darted edge. Because you want it to seem almost seamless. On the side, and then the other. Okay, so from here, I'm going to take those two edges and I'm going to pinch them together. And continue working my way around, making sure that all of those edges and corners are being addressed and then the inside of the cup where it meets in the corners I will have to compress them later on. Starting from the bottom and working my way up to compress those sections together and I have intentionally not scored 
so that this does not leave any un undue marks. So we will be dealing with that through compression rather than through scoring to get these to come together as a completed part. And so as you can see, the form has become darted at the foot as I start to flip it over, right? But this foot now seems a little small for the shape of the piece. So I need to figure out how I'm going to create my foot. So using another piece of clay, I am now going to make sure that that's well compressed because I've just re-thrown it. The other side as well. I'm going to come in, score a little bit along that edge. And then press, set that on there and figure out its dimension. By tracing it with my needle tool, taking that off, and for this situation I want it to be a little bit larger than I'm actually working with because I want that extra clay to build up that surface at that foot. So I'm going to come in, score along where it's going to join the cup. And I'm going to take a little bit of the slip, apply it to the rim of the piece, and then lay it down gently. And again, no heavy mark making at this point. As I start to lay that down, and figure out how this cup is all going to come together. From here, I now have this overbearing edge, which is what I want. I am now going to come in with my clean pony roller, which I've used before, and I'm just going to kind of compress that into the surface around the sides of my cup, as it adheres to my shape. And this I kind of like to be irregular, circular, right? Almost like a circular hexagon. What's important here is that we kind of tap that in in the middle to create that indebted foot. And then from the top, we want to make sure that the rim meets the same requirements that we want for any of the drinking vessels. So going back in with that beautiful piece of plastic and compressing and that beautiful rim into shape. Beautiful, exactly what I want. So we have this really nice cup form that we will now let it rest because it's soft slab and then we will attach with a handle in just a little bit.